thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Happy to. Is it Always. me or is it more crowded in here than ever before? Becky, well, it's both of you and it's more crowded. I mean, it's fantastic. We have, from what I understand, a lot more credentials issued this year and the lines have not stopped since we opened here. It's crazy. Yeah, um, what, what, what were you guys prepared for when you showed up with us? How much did you bring? <laughs> we brought 11 and a half tons and we also brought a little more merch this year. So we've got a candle, we've got t-shirts, we've got a couple of other things that people have been asking for for the last few years. and so. We want to take care of our customers, and, and we brought a lot more product this year. You anticipate you'll sell out? We do, yeah. 11 yeah. and a half tons. We do, we do. And every, anything that's left over, we're actually going to reach out to a food bank here and, and uh, donate what's left instead of trucking it back to California. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, that's a lot. What's the most popular thing that you sell? The most, well, it's always the peanut brittle. Peanut brittle and the, the staples. And particularly this year, because we put a sleeve on the peanut brittle with a wonderful quote from Charlie. And so, yeah, that's going incredibly well. And the Berkshire box that has a picture of Warren and, uh, and and Mary on it as well. So those are flying like crazy. Yeah, because peanut brittle, that was Charlie's favorite. He yeah. ate it through the yeah. entire meeting. Yeah, so we have a, a, an animation of Charlie on the front of it leaning on some peanut brittle and kind of had to give him the tip of the cap. Okay, this is your home crowd oh, when man. you're here. Yeah, fans all over the place. Yeah. yeah, I mean, our shops are always filled with people who love the brand, but this is different. These are these are, these are are our owners. Right, yeah. <laughs> right. Let's talk about what the consumer looks like right now, though, because yeah. um, it, it is a potential point of inflection in the, in the sure. economy. The economy looks good, yeah. but are people as willing to spend yeah. on discretionary items? What well, we're find? definitely feeling that. And uh, you know, for the most part, the good news is people need their candy and they definitely need their seeds. So our sales are solid. Um, it's definitely a little bit softer. So our basket size and the amount that people are buying at a given time has definitely been hit a little bit, but we're still doing well. We actually had our first, our best first quarter ever, just finished that. Now it helped that Easter was in the first quarter as opposed to the second quarter. But uh, we feel we feel good. But yeah, it's a little soft out there. And, and in large part, commodity prices have come down, but yeah. not when you're looking at something like cocoa. No, um, this week actually we finally saw a little gravity hit. So we've actually seen the prices come down in the last few days. And trust me, I'm tracking it. Um, but we've been uh, guarded in a lot of ways. Thankfully, I've, you know, we're a century old business. People smarter than me have made a lot of these decisions previously. But we we generally buy 12 to 18 months out. So we've been good for most of the year, but the back end of the year is definitely going to pinch us a little bit. What um, what part of your cost is cocoa? I mean, that's got to be a huge. Well, it depends on the product. So we don't have obviously any in, in peanut brittle, but for an average uh, for an average enrobed piece here, it's almost fifty percent. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's significant. Do you raise the prices, or do you just eat the margins? Well, so the beautiful thing about being part of the Berkshire family is we have the most patient capital on the face of the planet, and so at the end of the day. Yes, we're going to have to respond like anybody else would in terms of what the price is going to be. But we're we are doing it over the long haul, just like we do with anything else. So last year it was sugar prices, this year it's cocoa prices, and we tend to even it out over time. But uh, yeah, we will definitely be touching prices later this year. What um, percentage of the business is in stores versus online? Uh, it's about 65% in, in shops, about 15% online, and then we actually have kind of a wholesale and licensee business that's the balance. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what, what does that wholesale business do? I mean, I... It does everything from, we have fundraisers with, um, you know, yeah. athletic teams, music uh, music programs, so we have a lot of that that we do, and we kind of do a discount, but it's still a profitable business for us as well. And then our licensee business, which is like airports, uh, tourism destinations, military depots, we sell directly to those folks. And then corporate gifting, like you. Anybody you would want to send out to Christmas, we take care of those folks too. So we kind of consider that wholesale as opposed to retail and just regular e-com. We were speaking with the CEO of Hellsberg yeah. Jewelers. Brad, and he yeah. said you guys do um, a teaming up for Mother's yeah. Day. Yeah. Like jewelry yeah. and candy. How does that work? We did Well, we did a promotional thing, and it was basically both of us sort of putting up, um, they had uh, 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 gold earrings, and we had some of our product. And so it was basically partly to drive a little social media and a little bit of additional interest. So Brad's a great guy and we've been working together for a while. And so essentially it was a drawing for two, two of these uh, winning packages and it, it really went well. I think we had over 35,000 um, entrants and uh, really, really loved it. We're actually doing this, not similar, but we're doing a different thing with Squishmallows, which you might have checked out. So we're trying to collab where we can. That's great. I mean, that's, that's kind of a new thing for the Berkshire brands to yeah. work out. How, how did that come about? Just from meeting up with the CEOs, the other CEOs? A little bit, a little bit. I mean, yeah. this is you know, this is kind of a family. You know, we get to we get to know each other. But uh, but they're they're all such good brands, and there's a common integrity and a common platform of how we operate. And so being able to reach out to a guy like Brad or to uh, Jed over at uh, at, at uh, Squishmallows is just it's a fantastic opportunity for our teams to work together. So we don't do a lot of it, and we definitely don't do it just because. But 
if the opportunity is there, as Warren would say, we would definitely want to take mm -hmm. advantage of it. What, what's your biggest concern at this point? Uh, well, <laughs> cocoa prices are definitely impacting the business to some degree, and what I, what, what is, it's sort of inexplicable to me. <laughs> to me, to some degree, we understand there's a supply issue there, but it was steady for almost 15 years, that price, and then it, you know, it sort of took off. So that's certainly a concern. I think the other is just the general state of the economy, which you touched on as well, and uh, believing that there's wages are up and, and spending is not necessarily following suit, and the, the price of the price of goods overall is definitely impacting just any business out there. So, but at the same time, I can also say our business is strong. We're doing very well. Our retail business is up. Our e-commerce business is up, and so we feel good about the future because we're seas. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank for your you, time. Becky. It's Thank great you. to see you. We'll get you set up over here too. Before we leave you, yes, can we ask you about Charlie Munger just sure. quickly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Another. Yeah. 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 Um, Let's talk about Charlie. This yeah. is the first meeting he's not here. Yes. Peanut brittle is a huge seller for you. Yeah. But um, just in terms of what what Charlie taught you. Yeah. Uh, what would Simplicity. You say? Simplicity. Just being able to get to the core of the matter, to not overthink things, and really understand where do you want to go, and what how do you want to get there, and simplify whatever questions in front of you. If you look at his quotes, it's just he's so brilliant. He packs so much intelligence into a small number of words. And I think as a matter of business, that's how he thinks as well. I'm certainly, a, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm an expert one way or another, but he's just such a great teacher in that regard and simplifying things. And for us also just understanding the joy of C's, you know, eating the peanut brittle at, uh, at the shareholders meeting in front of people to say, this is great product, you know? So um, yeah, there's just so many things to learn from him. The quotes, I actually have the quotes on my desk. I always, yeah. and I hand those out to our senior staff. And, and actually we had a town hall last week and I quoted him on a couple of things as well. And, yeah, no, he's just an incredible, incredible leader, and he's very much responsible for us being part of the Berkshire family, as Warren was talking yeah. about this morning. And yeah. so, um, yeah, there's so many things we could say about him, but just that simplicity.